Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amals Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about how to print stars in alphabetical N shape. And this code is also similar to the previous pattern programs. So let's begin with the code. Okay, here is the output and here we can see stars in different row and column. So to print stars in different row and column, we are using two for loop. That is one for loop is to print stars in rows and another for loop is to print stars in columns. And here in the output we can see six row and six columns. So at the beginning of our code we can see for loop. This for loop is to print stars in the rows and here row is the variable name and we are using range function here. As I said there are six rows are there in the output so I'll mention 6 here so range is from 0 to 6 and inside that for loop body we are using another for loop it is to print stars in the column and here call is the variable name and in the output 6 columns are there so I'll mention 6 here okay range is from 0 to 6 and inside that for loop body we are using if else conditional statement that is we want to print stars in some particular pattern that is alphabetical n shape for that we need condition that's why we are using if else conditional statement after if keyword we need to mention the condition that is in which row and column you want to print star so for that we need to observe the output and first we'll check for the column that is in the column 0 and column 5 we can see the stars in each row right so our first condition will be i'll check whether column is equal to 0 or column is equal to equal to 5 okay these are my two conditions that is i'm checking whether column is equal to 0 or 5 here this is the logical or operator and in the logical or operator if any one of the input is true then output will be true so if any one of this condition is true it will print star okay so next we are done with the column now so we need to concentrate on the rows or these four stars so for that i'll write condition like this i'll mention logical or and here i'll check whether row is equal to equal to column if it is true then at that time column should be greater than zero and column should be less than 5 this is my third condition and here we can see we want to print these four stars and here we can see this star is in the place of row 1 and column 1 and this is in row 2 column 2 this is row 3 column 3 this is row 4 column 4 that is we want to print star when row is equal to column okay and we want to print these four stars that's why i mentioned their column should be greater than zero and less than five so here in the third condition we are checking whether row is equal to column if it is true then column should be greater than zero and less than five and here we can see the logical and operator and in the case of logical and operator if both the inputs are true then only output is true that is if both this condition become true then only it will print star after that we can see colon and inside that if body we can see print star and empty string that is if this condition becomes true then it will print star and here we can see end is equal to empty string that is in the print by default end value will be slash n but in our output we don't want any space or new line between the two stars in a row so that's why we are using end is equal to empty string next if this condition become false then control goes to the else part and it will print space that is we can see here space right this is because of else part execution and next inside the first for loop we are using print it's because this is used for the new line that is 
After printing stars in one row, we want to go to the next line to print another star. That's why we are using this print. Okay, now we are done with our code. So we need to save this and run this. And here we can see the output. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. I'll meet you in next class. Till then, take care.